passion, I'll, I'll use the term passion, to me is another vehicle for harnessing this opportunity to shape serendipity. Because passionate people, and, I, I, and again, I've written quite a bit about this, and it's going to be my next book, actually. Um, I, I focus on one type of passion that I call the passion of the explorer. And passion of the explorer has two key dispositions that define it. There's one disposition which I call a questing disposition. It's if you're passionate about a domain and you want to make a, a continuing and increasing impact in that domain, you're constantly seeking out new challenges. And as soon as you solve one, you're on to the next one, trying to get um, the, to the next level of performance. Questing dispositions are accompanied by what I describe as connecting dispositions. If you talk to a passionate person, they're constantly reaching out to try to find other people who share their passion or who have expertise that's relevant to addressing the quest that they're on. But even if they're very shy introverts, the passion that they have for this arena gets them out of that comfort zone and willing to seek out other people. And one of the really interesting things about a passionate person, this passion of the explorer, is at least from my experience, I can guarantee that within 30 minutes of a conversation with a passionate explorer, they're talking about that really gnarly problem that they have no idea how to solve. They're so frustrated. They need help. Can you help? And it builds trust. And one of the things that's increasingly important in this world, I believe, is trust-based relationships. Passionate people build trust in a way that is extremely powerful. And they send out beacons that will invite that kind of serendipitous encounter. So I do think passion is a critical catalyst to these serendipitous encounters.